गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स यू नो दैट वी रिक्वायर एनर्जी टू डू ऑल काइंड ऑफ वर्क मे इट बी रनिंग प्लेइंग और टू डू एनी अदर थिंग्स बट हाउ डू वी गेट दिस एनर्जी वी गेट दिस एनर्जी फ्रॉम द डिलीशियस फूड दैट वी ईट द फूड दैट वी ईट कंटेन्स कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स प्रोटीन्स फैट्स विटामिनस मिनरल्स and of course water all these components of food are called as nutrients these nutrients provides us nutrition nutrition gives us the energy to do work so in today's class let us study about the topic nutrition in plants before we study about nutrition in plants first let us see what is nutrition the process by which all living organisms take food and utilize it to get energy is called as nutrition all the living organisms may it be plants or animals they of course require nutrition for its growth we human beings we obtain our necessary nutrients from both plants and animals even the animals they obtain the nu- required nutrition from both the plants and animals how do these plants get their nutrition did you ever think about this now in order to know how does a plant get its own nutrition let us study about modes of nutrition that is autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition let us start with autotrophic nutrition the mode of nutrition in which organisms prepare their own food is called as autotrophic nutrition plants which prepare their own food are called as autotrophs plants prepare their own food with the help of green pigment called as chlorophyll this chlorophyll gives green color to plants chlorophyll helps leaves to get energy from sunlight which is used to prepare food that is carbohydrates by using carbon dioxide and water you can see in the picture that green leaves they take solar energy and you you can also see that water is absorbed by the roots and then it is transported to all the parts of the plant now this green leaves which are containing chlorophyll and also contains water absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to prepare its own food carbohydrates and oxygen gas is released into the atmosphere let me repeat it green leaves they take in solar energy from the sun water is absorbed by the roots now these green leaves which are containing chlorophyll and water absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to prepare its own food that is carbohydrates and oxygen gases released this concept is called as photosynthesis now let us define this photosynthesis in a proper way the process by which green plants prepare their own food by using carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll is called as photosynthesis this is the word equation of photosynthesis carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll gives glucose which may be sugar or carbohydrates and oxygen gas is released you can see the upward arrow here this indicates the oxygen gas is released but how is this oxygen gas released from the plant into the atmosphere or how is that carbon dioxide gas is absorbed by the plants from the atmosphere in order to know this let us study about the guard cells and stomata if you take a leaf and enlarge it under a microscope you can see these guard cells these are the guard cells at the center of the guard cell there is stomata 
stomata will be opened during the day time which allows sun rays and carbon dioxide to enter into the leaves during the night time stomata will be closed and oxygen gas is released to the atmosphere through guard cells now most of the leaves are green in color that means they can prepare their own food but what about the leaves which are not green in color i'm sure you all have seen such type of leaves do you think they can prepare their own food yes of course they can they have got chlorophyll in it it is just that when they have less amount of chlorophyll pigment when compared to the other chlorophyll i'm sorry when compared to the other color pigments in that leaf now what about the plants which can't prepare their own food so in order to study this let us study about the heterotrophic mode of nutrition in this mode of nutrition the organisms obtain their food from other plants and animals heterotrophic plants are of four types parasitic plants insectivorous plants saprophytic plants and symbiotic plants parasitic plants obtain their food directly from other plants which are known as host plants for example is cascuta these plants obtain their food from the host plant host plant in the sense the plant on which they grow next is rafflesia rafflesia these are found in dense forest and these are the largest flowers in the world they obtain their food from the tree on which they grow insectivorous plants get their food by trapping and eating other small organisms as you can see in this pitcher plant the millipede here is trapped by this pitcher pitcher plant it has got sticky substance inside it which then digests the tra trapped organism next is the venus fly trap you can see here how this plant traps its prey another example is sun dove plant you can see how the insect has been trapped and then digested by this plant saprophytic plants these get the food from dead and decaying matter bread molds i'm sure that you all have seen the bread molds at your home mushroom these tasty mushrooms that we eat come under this category of saprophytic plants symbiotic plants these are the ones which live together and one or both the plants benefit from this relationship example is lichens you may have seen these lichens on bark of trees these lichens which are fungus grow on an algae both the algae and lichens help each other to obtain the necessary nutrition rhizobium bacteria these are present at the root nodes rhizobium bacteria provides nitrogen to plant and in return plant provides food to rhizobium so this completes your chapter take down the whole home assignment you can just pause the video and take down questions i request all the students to perform this activity thank you